it appears the storm of blowing over the Umbrella Party, the People's Democratic Party, is taking a different turn. In a strategy meeting held in Lagos, five governors of the People's Democratic Party, known as the G5, as well as other aggrieved members of the party, were embarrassed as their gathering was disrupted by some party faithful in the states who sang songs in support of the party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. The state party members decried the group's alleged plan to undermine the presidential aspiration of the party's candidates and insisted that Atiku was the choice candidate for 2023. Meanwhile, presidential candidates of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Musa Kwokonso, has dismissed speculations that he may step down for his PDP counterpart, Atiku Abaka, in next year's general election. Speaking at the Nigerian Guild of Editors Forum, Kokonso insisted that he left the party to renegotiate the country's huge debts in order to move the country forward. Let's share the sound with it. Abib, let's tackle the first phase of that um, story. This, the G5 governors, I asked myself, it's some, we have some days to the general election, and they are members of the People's Democratic Party, and they refuse to leave the PDP. What could be their end game? I think their, 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 their end game is becoming increasingly clear to make the party more disunited, to disrupt the operations, to disunite the members, and ultimately make sure that Atiku Abaka did not win the elections. That is the end game. Because if you, if you notice, they meet every week. They met last week in Benue, the previous week in, uh, in, 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 in United State, and yesterday in Lagos. And they met in Lagos with some of their great leaders too, like Bodhi George, Duna Jang, and the rest. So their, their end game is to disrupt the party, distract them, be in the news that voters, the party is not united. And a party that is not united is not ready to win elections. You know, I, I wrote a piece for my, for my platform, the pledge, about two weeks ago. And I was wondering why it's so difficult for Atiku Abaka and some beauty members to sit down on the table and hand this thing out. The main demand of, of uh, Wike and his gang is that Ayo must go. That is their main demand, Ayo. The main demand of a body judge is that you cannot remain as a chairman when, the, when a, a, a Rausa man is the party presidential candidate. The implicit belief, their demand, is that the presidency should come to the south. Now, we have gotten the ticket, and they are, and they are saying that you cannot remain the chairman. That was, that was, that was, that, that was the agreement, mm. implicitly. That was the agreement. And I think we have said it, that it's not ready to, to budge, to capitulate to the demand of G5. The G5, led by Wiki, they are determined. From his body language, he had made up his mind to work against Atiku Abaka. So, but yesterday, I had the dimension up to, to, to place. 
Don't forget that he came in the wake of Wiki's support for the Lagos State Governor, Sawolu. And when they met yesterday, that was their position. Some of the supporters of uh, Jando and Atuko Abaka now said, no, it's not just enough. Started cursing and shouting them of Atuko Abaka and Jando. Taking a new dimension. So I, I think, I hope that racism is still prevail. The party will come together and provide a strong opposition to ABC. But the way it's going now, I know, the way it's going. I think we will need to clear Fortunate. from Arthur Odu about the judge himself. Because what we gathered, because after their meeting at Southern Sun, we journalists, we had to return back to the newsroom to go and do our story. We did not follow them to Lugard. But what we gathered is that they are saying for House of Representative, for the Senate, that they should vote for the People's Democratic Party. That apart from coming to the governorship and the presidential election, they should not vote for Atiku and Jando. And that is what you see this, well, their supporters kicking against, saying that this is not River State, this is Lagos, that they want to remain loyal to Atiku Abubakar. Politics is not like that. PDP, look at PDP. Remember in 2013, it was still the same G5 issue. Remember, how many governors with Atiku Abubakar? When I mean in November, time, I about November led, 2013, no led it was still it led, was it not G5? Yeah, Aha, G5 again. Then remember the 12 Northern governors in 2015 that traveled to the U.S. and reported Jonathan, President John, then President Jonathan, to the U.S. government that he was deliberately punishing Northerners. There were also PDP governors there. So using the cheap guys, uh, yeah. So there were also PDP governors there. So it's and also remember at different times PDP governors have actually helped candidates in other parties. Remember the relationship between Amechi and Oshomole years back when Oshomole was running for governor. So you see these things form, like I said earlier, Nigerian the nature of Nigerian politics. You are not sure where any politician stands. It's all about his interest. He can pull down. He can pull down the house. He can blow up the roof if his interests are not met. And that is what you are seeing these people doing. And definitely, and, and also, Atik Wabaka should have been a better student of history because this is a party you worked against. This is a party you said so many things again. You told mm -hmm. Nigeria not to vote for the PDP, but what you are now trying to push is the fact that you know. All right, it depends on, uh, okay, all right. You should, you are, some people are saying it should go to the south. By next year, eight years of Buhari, it will mean the, 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 the north has had, in this, for the, in this fourth republic, 10 years. Then, if the south goes forward, it, has, it would have had, it will have more than what the north has had. So what's the big deal? The north should actually be pushing to even up. Now, in doing that, you should have borne in mind that people will, that key members of the party, especially the governors who, from the south, will kick against it. Then these were the same governors that agreed in Asaba that this thing will come to the south. Absolutely. All of a sudden, Okowa, Governor Ifan Okowa, turned around and moved to Atiku's side. That, okay, no problem, whatever the okay. is, I'll support it. Come on, you don't expect. Okay, I have Fidel from Imo States on the line. Thank you for joining us, Fidel. Thank you very much. My name is Fidel Onyeneke. And I want to say that what happened in Lagos, what happened to the G5 governors, is apparently an indication that people are getting tired of what their excesses, what I may call their excesses. And they must learn something from it. This is a delicate period for them to continue to move and make utterances that might lead to violence. As governors, they are elders of this country, and they should therefore mind their activities and their actions. In the past, probably they've done one or two things, but it is getting to the extreme that Nigerians are now beginning to resist them. By the way, these governors, don't, don't, don't they no longer work in their, in their states and so on? How many days do they spend in their states in the past two months and three months? It, it, is, it is unbecoming of leaders of the country. For God's sake. If they want to pull out of the political Some party, let them pull out, but let them not do anything. What we have here is that this might distract the presidential, you know, um, ambition of Atiku Abaka in the sense that, look, 
it's bad enough that he lost a Peter Obi to the Labour Party and they ran on the same ticket in 2019. And that went a long way to secure the South East and the South South, particularly Abubaka. Right now, he stands the risk of losing, or you know, that place will be in contention right now. And at the same time, you can't afford to have crisis in Benue, Inugu, or your state, and Rivers. Rivers state, and River State. Rivers. And you still want to emerge as the president of this election. This guy, they've, they've demonstrated in the past few months, weeks and months, that there are no new fights, that they are consequential. And they can derail the train. Everything is destination. And that's why I said I'm, I'm surprised that mature minds in, in, the, in the opposition party are not finding it expedient to be more decisive. To be more decisive in listening to the demands and yearnings of Wiki and his gang. <laughs> you, know, you don't know the, the, the Wiki and his gang. Because I, 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 I don't see the sentiment that Wiki is raising. The sentiment is that he's raising is gaining traction. The power must come to the south. That nobody is, you know, that all Nigerians are equal citizens. You know, that there's an agreement before and during the primaries that the chairman cannot remain this from the north and the candidate come from the north. So these are, these are German issues, these are German demands, which I think should take the party leadership, take it more seriousness, that come, let's negotiate with these people. Mm. Because I don't see how they can win this election to these guys. Now they are saying that difficult. the room for negotiation is still on. Do you see an article of Baka telling your child you that you have to step down? And, no, 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 no. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, to me, he has, he has less options remaining for him. I mean, today, I'm reporting politics for law, you know that. I, I, I don't see anywhere, anyhow, he can win this election without these people. Mm. Because if they connect against him, look at the way you rather than lost. They could not be against him, he will ultimately lose the election. I was a sitting president. I'm telling you, I'm a sitting president. This so, one, he is a candidate. I was, I was asking one of the uh, former spokesperson. So I, I, I even asked Paul Libby last week in Lagos. I think it was a media edit. Like, what is going on? How can you guys find a way out of this problem? He said, no, to do with resolve. You resolve, you resolve. I was sounding optimistic. If you look on things, me, I'm not optimistic. You know, me, I, me, I want them to be united and face the ruling party. They can have a, the boss election next year. When the world is going, the ABC will not re-roll this election and win. Hmm. But I, I really wonder why this president don't have a sense of history. Remember Jonathan got Obulafo, Chief Vincent Obulafo, to step down. And then Correct. Bello Hali from the north came in. Before gradually Adamo Omozo came on the scene. That was a sitting president. What is, why is it difficult for a candidate Someone's not a sitting president. For a candidate to negotiate, you know, leave, give room for negotiations and all that. He appointed Dansuki as NSA. As then, yes. To appease the North To appease the North, yes. Ah. So all these things. And that was, a sitting, that was a sitting president. But I think he's just saying that, look, the chairman here was duly elected by the National Working Committee, you know, the Congress of the party. Yeah. That's yeah, the president cannot, the national convention. Yes, convention. And what about what use. about Obulafo? Was he smuggled in as chairman? Correct. Was he smuggled in as chairman? Articles emergence as the presidential candidate. There are allegations about you know uh, surrounding how he emerged. So what is he talking about? In political negotiation, sometimes you you know you know it's about convention and practice. You know, you look at the convention, you also look at practice to make sure that you are focused on winning. He has to negotiate. And these people have shown that they are not backing down. Absolutely. Already, already Wiki has promised P2B support. He has promised Conquest support. So you should know that these people are actually going beyond negotiation. You just promise them logistics support. Yeah, logistics support. But you know, this is Nigerian politics. <laughs> There's only the window. When, when, when you're not appointed, Aliro. Yeah. The constitution says you cannot elect a new chairman. A new chairman, yes. When one has been done already. Yes. You know that appointed Alero is to use the now window as acting chairman. Yes. Not substantive. Yes. That, we, that's what we can say. Remove Ayu. Appoint another person to be acting chairman to appease us if they will refuse. Hmm. All right. We'll take this breather again when we come back.